Okay, speaking of Destiny, actually. Destiny um had an argument with this guy called um Ludwig. And he says this, he says, he seems cool, but he tries as hard as possible to appeal to the widest set of people possible. He's like if you were to test a human in front of 20 focus groups of online content consumers and produce a machine to appeal to all of them evenly. Ludwig replies with a black person emote, which I think is probably the most effective way to prove Destiny's point. Uh, Destiny replies to this with, I think, a picture of his girlfriend crying. I don't know the context of this. If you know the context of this, please spew it out in chat as quickly as possible. Uh, Ludwig replies saying, yes, there's a picture of my girlfriend who I love. How is your wife? Destiny replies saying, don't worry. With technology we have now, pretty soon we can all love her. Hey, maybe one day they'll even be able to deep fake you a personality. Um, which is a very weird retort because he's effectively threatening to make AI-based revenge pornography of this man's wife um, or girlfriend for, for no for no reason whatsoever. I just don't get it. Destiny had a, wi a wife, but she left him. Oh, okay, so his, his girlfriend was crying over the fact that people were making porn out of her with AI. And then he threatens to do the same, which is a huge dick move. Like, how, how fucking invasive and cruel. And then he just, like, uses that as a point. That's, that's fucking, that's actually really mean and spiteful. As a card-carrying turf. <laughs> I've, I've been inflicted with the status of feminist by my community, so... As my feminist take on this is that uh, making AI pornography of unconsenting women is bad, and threatening to do so to epically own their boyfriends is at least as bad, if not badder. If you know what I mean? Kind of what it is. Uh, Destiny then starts complaining about being epically owned by and making a fool of himself on Twitter in his uh, chat. And he says, who is my strongest soldier? I need an IDF. It's actually so fucking irritating. And their sycophantic incel fans eat it all up and regurgitate the same shit. It's so fucking annoying. These people hit me on literally every single random weird personal attack because they are fighting over eating the scraps of Hassan's last dump. So they echo anything they've heard from him constantly. Uh, he says, what do you mean, you retarded fuck? He's replying to somebody who's not seen in this clip. Uh, Gravitas, why bring up my wife or my family or my ex or anything about me constantly? I'm thinking about Jonestown, but not tragic. He brought it up. The guy posted a black reaction gif, and he, for whatever reason, made it about his girlfriend. Why would you do that? That's like that's like a below-the-belt thing, because she's upset for a legitimate reason. I don't know why she's streaming it, but it's like a, that's really invasive and cruel to do some, to, to somebody. Make the world a better place and seriously kill yourselves in a group. I think the best thing that could happen is they all grab a bag of Fent loaded coke so they can join Slime's OD dead fucking dad six feet under. Forethought perma banning every single random fuck who criticized my take on Ludwig, QT, whoever the fuck else in that friend group. It's Rafa invasion time. Fuck this. And then my own fan base, Israeli citizens like Haratz and Bastalam, come down on me for every single fucking thing I do. Like, holy fucking shit. Uh, meanwhile, their fan bases, citizens, and their friendly fan bases, international support, hold them accountable for every fucking nothing. Dude, this guy has supported him, uh, supported Israel so fucking hard that he's now like unable to contextualize any kind of online disagreement without thinking of it in terms of the Israeli invasion of Gaza. This, this guy, dude, you just gotta get circumcised and and take the. Uh, the bar mitzvah. You, you just gotta. You just gotta. Um, if you're already circumcised, you have to do a drop of blood from your penis as a blood covenant with God. But you can do it, my boy. You can still become a Jew. I have to deal with these insanely unhinged fucking losers, Palestinians that have always engaged in fucking weirdo attacks against me, terror attacks. <laughs> Dude, when people call me a cuck, it's basically a terror attack. Remember that time that Palestine went into a uh, the neighboring country and kidnapped a bunch of random women and then raped them in the dungeon for, for months on end? That's basically what happens when people call me a cuckold for sharing my wife. 
uh, while pretending they aren't. That's all fake news, and if it happens, they deserved it. I am Israel. Dude, we are all Israel. I'm fucking Israel. I'm Israel as fuck right now. I'm going to tell you. I just had a fucking epiphany. That's what a victim. This guy is just like embrace the victim complex. I, I am actually. Listen here, Graham. I am the victim. Everything I do, I didn't deserve. And everybody is against me. And I don't know why. I'm just trying to. I'm quite. I'm just trying to defend my borders. We just gotta defend my borders, and with a little international aid, with a couple trillion dollars of international aid, with ten trillion dollars of international aid, for a mere fifteen trillion dollars international aid, I can defend democracy in the Middle East, Clay. That's bizarre. What a fucked up like perspective. What a fucked up perspective of self. That he sees himself as this perpetual victim. Bro, you go out on the internet. His entire career, that's his entire career, is to go out and, like, try to fuck with people. Like, try to antagonize them and do debate bro rhetoric and, and try to make them look like fools in front of their audience so that he can annex their audience. He can annex the West Bank of of Hassan's audience basically and say like if you want to go for the like, Palestine thing when Destiny was a StarCraft streamer going on to other people's streams playing video games I'm like well what do you mean by that actually when I read this book I learned this other thing and actually you're doing you're <laughs> you're basically doing this other thing right now that's like him doing the the six day war and conquering the West Bank and, and kicking other people to the curb and stealing their audience so he can make money which is millions of dollars a year by the way but no, really, despite his wealth and success and all the people that he's fucked over by making them look like fools with, like, his weird, weird rhetoric, rhetoric tools and shit, he's the real victim. I like it up. Oh. This is next. This is... Oh, even in his, um, his Reddit... Uh, he is, like, getting chewed out by his own community. Apparently the mods are going through, and they're going, blo they're going block by block and ensuring that Hamas is completely stomped out. All the bad Goyim are being put to the, put to the blade, uh, as Bakokva would have been, would have wanted. And only the most true and honest, loyal Destiny fans are left standing. Um, this person who is suspicious bid 9583 uh, hashtag based and unreason pill and says all the people saying destiny is going too far must be new. Ludwig has always been taking pot shots at destiny and trying to undermine him and spread weird rumors about him. Firstly, that destiny was trying to get random smash people to fuck Molina, making weird jokes about him with his friends around live on stream, painting destiny to be a fake unrepentant evil streamer who doesn't care about anyone else. Spreading the same old dig is our Destiny GG's brigading rumors. Letting his friends take pot shots at Destiny. This guy was a part of a pod, and it was the one who started the whole current debacle on his podcast. Although Destiny's tweets might seem unhinged in a vacuum, it's not a vacuum. Although Destiny, just because he's going block by block and executing thousands of civilians while children starve in the street, you're looking at it through a vacuum, Goy. You got to take the big picture. You got to take the whole Middle East and conflict into consideration. They've been doing bad stuff for a long time, Goy. So the, the starving children, out of sight, out of mind. We're not letting the press take pictures for a reason. Don't worry. It's for your own good. We know what we're doing. Destiny knows what he's doing. You just got to keep it on lockdown. Trust us. We never, we've never led you astray, and we won't leave you astray now. Uh, although Destiny has tried to be relatively kind and avoid Q kind. He's so fucking kind. Look at how kind he is by ridiculing his uh, crying girlfriend who's crying over the fact that people are making porn of her without her consent. <laughs> uh, QT Cinderella and Ludwig, they've hated him since he stopped Casey Tron trying to ruin his career in the Bob 7 drama. That's like a fucking foreign language as far as I'm concerned. The incident that really just built up the pressure leading to a volcanic eruption. And here's Destiny talking about the beef's origin and all the connections making it beefing so that it leads to beefing with all of them. A lot of beef. I hope there's a lot of beef in this clip. Let's take a listen. Oh boy, more Ludwig commentary. And while main stage is going on with all these Smash events, a couple of streamers are there. By the name of Destiny and Melina, they are at a Smash event doing IRL speed dating. They're not affiliated with the event in any way. I think they just booked a part of the venue to do speed dating. 
And the only reason I know this is because they have like two goons roaming around trying to sign smashers up to do speed dating. And then they went up to my friend Bunt and they're like, you want to do speed dating? He's like, no, nah, I have a girlfriend. And they're like, this is with Destiny the streamer. You could fuck his girlfriend. And he's Jesus like, yeah, Christ. no one cares. <laughs> I, it's so weird. It's so weird. But all right, hey, you know, content's content. You know what I mean? Anything for the sweet, sweet touch of content. I... Oh, that cut off earlier than I expected. Is there? Oh yeah, there's a second part to this. Oh, it's only 12 seconds. I always wondered how many views you'd get if you were ugly, but then I watched Destiny stream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, thanks. I mean, he is ugly. Does that make him upset? Because he is ugly. In case you, in, just in case you're curious, you are ugly. I didn't know that Keep watching 30 more Literally, seconds. Literally, someone tried to show up to Amaranth's house and burn her house down. Arson. This is a real thing that happened. Yeah. She gets swatted all, all the time, and then someone went to her house and tried to burn it the fuck down because she basically had kind of worked out the swatting thing, so they took it to the next level. You know? XQC, like, left his home because he also was getting a bunch of weird people who were trying to, like... Fuck with him in real life and go to his house. You know? Like, all these things are real problems that happen to streamers. So, I, I think it's wild that Destiny, even for a joke, would have posted that and popularized that story. And then take zero credit and say, I don't even care, dude. That's that's wildly shitty. But I, I think it, it's all in the name of, I don't know, rivalry, content. Not yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. I guess these are all clips that establish why they hate each other. I'm telling you to just do what DGG would. <laughs> I would never tell you guys. That's a bad clip. I cannot. That's that's a loud clip. Tell you how incredibly fucking angry I am that Casey Tron, somebody that I kind of sorted considered a friend, would step out and put her fucking nose into this when she was on a fucking call with me, Bose, and Melina listening and shared the exact same type of story with Bob Seven, and then would later come out and help corroborate Bob Seven's story while he was manipulating Ophelia to change hers. I think that Casey Tron should fall on this as hard as Bob Seven does. I am actually shocked that she had the fucking audacity to come out on her fucking stream and try to say that she didn't think the allegations were real. It was just fucking Bose's word, blah, 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 blah. After she makes the exact same statements behind the scene. Fuck her for that. I am so absolutely floored that she would have the audacity, the confidence to come out and say all the stupid shit that she's been tweeting today while saying this exact fucking thing to us in conversations later on. It is unbelievable to me that she would do that. Fuck you, Casey Tron. What a fucking stupid thing to do. This might and as well, on top of that, she even listens in. This might as well be a foreign language. Like, who are these people? Why does he get involved? Because he's, he's so mad in this. Like, he's so genuinely mad. And it's like, why do you get involved in drama and then get upset that drama happens? Why have, like, if you want to have a, 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 a community oriented around debate and political discussion, and and you know so on and so forth. Why would you then get involved in like weirdo inner streamer inner streamer drama, and why then would you then also get upset that you have a polarized community that may turn on you? Because when you have when you have a drama oriented business, when you have a drama oriented community, um, you know. When you when you when the business is hot, you can do no wrong. When the business is cold, you can do no right. Like that's how it works. Like why would you get involved in this and then be upset that people are going to treat you in a way that's consistent with how a drama community works? I don't understand. Um, and now it's like you know I I mostly assess, as, associate destiny with drama. Um, I'm trying to think. Of, I I know that he's been big. I associate destiny with 
clips of Factorio, Starcraft, Vouch, and Drama. And I think for the, the last while, he's been talking about the Israeli war, because that's like his main thing, is that he's very pro-Israel. And he's like extremely obsessed with this. I guess because he believes that most people, especially young people, don't support Israel, whereas the establishment does. And he's very adamant that Israel is in the right because of the way that Hamas terrorizes the population of Israel or some shit like that. I don't know. But I think like the, the main issue is that nobody supports Israel because they basically run everything. They're, they're basically, they, they like, they have an inordinate amount of control and influence in the United States. And people will find a way to hate Israel because most people who aren't named Destiny are very unhappy with the current status quo. And they will look at all things in the status quo critically, even if they, like, you don't have to be an anti-Semite to and see Jews in, in ha, ha, the upper echelon and have, like, a conspiracy-oriented mind and worldview. Just to see that APAC is very heavily influencing our politics. And then if you hate our politics, you may then make the the uh, leap that you hate Israel because they are directly linked to our politics. And it's impossible to to think otherwise. You know what I mean? It, so I, I don't understand his, his perspective. I mean, I do. I completely understand it. His perspective is that... He understands that this is the only world in which destiny is a multimillionaire and not shot dead for being a burden on society. And so he very much supports the status quo and is opposed to people who have radical opinions contrary to the status quo. Um, but there is one more thing. Uh, he... Oh, wait. This is more of the Reddit drama. Everyone on his subreddit is getting nuked except his sycophants. Uh, everyone on LSF seems to be shit-talking him as well. Lots of people in the comments are saying either DGGers or Destiny himself is sending Reddit cares. Oh, Reddit cares. Um, that's when you report for people for being suicidal and you get like a message saying, like, we saw that you were suicidal, so we feel bad for you. It's a real thing. If you say you're suicidal, you can report it for being suicidal. And the Reddit system will send you, don't commit suicide, please. It'll make us look bad. You'll stop watching ads. <laughs> um, and then there's this. Uh, so, what's-his-face says, that's my girlfriend who I love. How is your wife? And this is his wife. Uh, he's, she's currently in uh, Sweden or Norway with a complete fucking loser. She is now multiple millions of dollars poorer than she was with Destiny, but she just seems a little bit happier, chat. Just a little bit happier. Not being passed around with a bunch of Smash Pro players, chat. Isn't that interesting how that works? Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!